I started out being a physiologist, so I guess that's what I'm interested in is the, the structure and function of, of cells. But now we do a lot of biochemistry, molecular biology as well as physiology. I, I think those kind of those names have become much broader now. There's very few people that just work on one aspect of the problem. We're working on pro projects in skeletal muscle and in the heart. The skeletal muscle projects are basically coupling between the electrical signal and the release of calcium ions that generate contraction. That probably sounds like a, a very small project, but we're getting down into the nitty gritty of the proteins and which amino acids are important which subunits of the protein are important. So we're dealing with proteins that have hundreds and hundreds of different amino acids in them, but only one or two of those are important in the, the coupling process. And so we're homing in on, on those amino acids and how they affect the function of the protein. In the heart, we're basically doing similar experiments, but we're focusing more on changes in amino acids which lead to heart disease. So in a protein that's got, say, 500, 600 amino acids, just a change in just one of those can give you heart failure. And so we want to know how that, that amino acid affects the structure of the protein. Early on, we discovered how, how to measure electrical signals from proteins that detect an action potential from the brain. And we were some of the first research group in the world to, to do that. Or th there were probably four or five groups and we were all working at much the same time. But uh, that, that definitely was one of the major successes. We also discovered that the proteins that we're, we're interested in, this is more recently, are affected in myotonic dystrophy. And the changes that occur in those proteins are probably responsible for the, the myopathy and my myotonic dystrophy. And what we're working on at the moment is some of the connections between individual proteins that actually allow the electrical signal to communicate with the, the release of calcium ions and contraction. And that's been a mystery in the field for uh, the last 40 or 50 years and we still don't know but we think we're very, getting very close.